Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day today, at least as far as Mondays go. Before I get started, I've got a couple quick reminders. Number one, this Thursday, November 16th, I am hosting a comedy show at the venue in Huntington Square. Um, I'll be the host, and your headliner will be Nate Jackson. It'll also include Ryan Query, Allison MacArthur, and Drew Brown. Uh, it's going to be a great show. That show starts at 7 o'clock. There will be a pre-show hangout, uh, I, I think starting at 5 that night. Um... Yeah, so come on down, come see the show. Uh, tickets are $10 in advance or $15 at the door. Find Huntington Square on Facebook to find a link for the tickets. And I'll, I'll see if I can put a link down in the description below. Um, yeah, so there's that. Also, that same night, just after that show, will be the open mic at Cregan's. That open mic is free. I believe it's scheduled to start at 9 o'clock. It may be a bit later, though, because uh, I'm fairly certain that Allison would be hosting that. And she is in the show at Huntington Square. So, um, yeah, there, there's that open mic, and we'll be leaving there and going to Huntington Square, at or go leaving Huntington Square and going to Cregan's for the open mic. At least I will. So um, come on down and check that out as well. That, again, is free. Uh, it'll be a whole lot of fun, as usual. And uh, last thing going on this week, um, Friday, I am going to Flipside in Memphis. That open mic sign-up will be at 8.30, and the open mic starts at 9.00. So, um, yeah, if you're in the Memphis area, come on down and come to that open mic. It's also free. Whole lot of fun. Um, be excited to see you. Now, uh, as far as this video, you are about to watch my performance opening the show that I hosted at the Recovery Room back in July. I believe it was July 28th was the date of that show. Um, this is just my opening. I, I don't have footage from, like, my little bits between acts during the show. But, um... Uh, you have seen one thing from that night. It was the open mic at the end of the show. Uh, you, you, you have seen that when I did um, Burger King versus McDonald's. This is about me and NASCAR. So uh, I thought they both went really well. Um, you let me know down in the comment section what you think. Uh, and hopefully Band of Comedy will be back soon. Uh, I'm working on ideas. I've got a decent idea now. But also, if you have ideas... Put them down in the comment section below and let me know what they are. Uh, I'd, I'd like to take things into consideration. I, I need to kickstart this old brain in here. So, you know, that's that's where we're at. But uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And uh, share it and all that kind of good stuff. As usual, I will not put any added laugh tracks in the video. All I've done is run it through a filter in GarageBand just to make sure that it's nice and clear. Um... And I believe that is everything I have for you. So enjoy the show. Good evening, Jonesboro. Yeah. How are we doing? Yeah. Feeling good? Woo. Welcome to the NEA Comedians Comedy Show at the Recovery Room. My name is Bryce Moore. I will be your host this evening. We have a great show lined up for you. A killer lineup. Four very funny people. I'm excited, y'all. Aren't y'all excited? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! We'll get to that line up here in a minute, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, okay? So growing up, I was a really good student in school. Made all A's all the time. My parents, my family, my whole family was all excited about my future, you know? They said, well, I finished high school, and they said, Bryce, where are you going to go to college? And I said, Arkansas State. They said, great, but well, what are you going to study? And I said, theater. They did not say that. <laughs> they went, what? I said, yeah, I'm going to be an actor and a comedian. Yeah. Oh! He's going to have a job with his name on his shirt. <laughs> and now I'm a janitor. <laughs> that's, that's true. I was sweeping floors and pulling the trash this morning. <laughs> um, but I'm a janitor on a college campus. I work over at A State. So when people ask me what it is that I do for a living, I just tell them, I work in higher education. <laughs> uh, I was at work one day, and uh, I was by myself. And I was just running through material in my head, getting ready for this show. And I'm saying it to myself, right? I'm saying it to myself, just kind of going through it. And I'm getting into it. You know, I've got my head bobbing. i got my arms gestured. The imaginary audience was loving it. They were loving it. And then I looked up, 
and saw somebody was standing there watching me the entire time. <laughs> so I turned to my right and I went, it would seem our conversation is no longer private. Perhaps we should reconvene at a later date. And they didn't walk away then, so I turned to my left and I said, Why, well, I think you are right, we should talk later. <laughs> and then I looked at them and said, Hi, how are you? Lovely day we're having, ain't that? <laughs> and you know, HR is actually really friendly once you get to know them. <laughs> and... God, how do you know them? Why'd you spit at me? Are you okay? Is your drink okay? Lovely. Lovely? Good. Good. Give it up for your weight staff, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> the few times I've been here to a comedy show, they're always on it. They are great, so I'm excited for tonight, y'all. But yeah, I live alone, like I said. And uh, there's, there's, there's nobody in my apartment. There's nobody else there. I don't even have company that often. I used to have a roach infestation for a year, and we got rid of those about six months ago, and I'm starting to miss them. <laughs> I am. I get lonely very easily. And so when I'm feeling lonely, what I like to do is hop in my truck and drive around town and just blast some music. But I don't know if y'all have noticed, gas is expensive. <laughs> and I'm just a janitor, so I'm poor. So I can't just do that. But what I can do, I've got a NASCAR video game. I can turn on that game and Bluetooth my phone to my speaker so it's like I'm going for a drive without leaving my recliner. And I know what you're thinking, Bryce, you're just going in a circle, turning left. No, 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 no. They've got road races on it with right turns and left turns in, so it's just like the real thing. And just like the real thing, I always somehow end up in a traffic jam. <laughs> 37 car pile up at Watkins Glen. My bad, Joe. I'm sorry about that. I started trying to race online against other people instead of just the CPU, and just to see how I could do. Came in 41st place. I'm not too good. <laughs> there were only 40 cars. <laughs> I got beat by the pace car. <laughs> Uh, but I know where I messed up though. Oh no, wait, actually, before that, I'm sorry. I messed up. I'm a little nervous. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> but no, there are only actually 39 other cars and one old man on an electric scooter. I hate modders. <laughs> but no, I know where I messed up, y'all. I messed up the most important part of driving a race car. The nickname. A good race car has a cool nickname. Man's respect. A cool nickname helps the car go fast, right? Can we all agree on that? Okay, good. Yeah. That's good. No, good. I got one person clapping. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that person is my mom. Give it up for my mom. Woo! Anyway, a good nickname demands respect, helps the car go fast. For instance, Dale Earnhardt had the Intimidator. Jeff Gordon had the Rainbow Warrior. You know what I call my car? The Tortoise. <laughs> well, they say that Slow and Steady wins the race. <laughs> all, all Slow and Steady got me was a participation ribbon. <laughs> Not even a trophy, just a pink little ribbon from the dollar store. It says birthday girl on it. <laughs> they felt bad about that, so they took a little sticky note and wrote, well, you were here. <laughs> I'll probably think I'm kidding. Look at this! Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> yeah. yeah! I hope y'all like that. That joke cost me 12 bucks. <laughs> they call that a business investment. <laughs> what do you say we quit fooling around and put a comedian on the stage? What do you think? Woo!